The Mountain Arts Center is unique because we're really two separate things. We're a tourist destination and we're a performing arts center. It has provided a stage for all the talent that we have in Eastern Kentucky and it also reminds us that we do have a culture and that we need to protect that culture. Our traditional music really needs to be harnessed and it really needs to be taught to these young people because if it's not, it's going to be lost forever. Go, to come over here on a, a Friday or Saturday night and see a third or fourth grader up on that stage and having a voice that will just send chills all over you. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. We're probably the most proud of our uh, arts education program. We have over 300 students a week take lessons here tonight. When I'm up there with all the fiddlers, it's just, it brings tears to my eyes. It really does when I see how much they've grown and how much, how much they can do and how much they've learned. It gives our local performers a chance to, to stay in Eastern Kentucky. Uh, their kids can go to the schools that they went to, they can attend the churches that they did. They grow up in a small community and they still have the opportunity to perform in front of a, a, a large audience on a regular basis. My husband and I were down here for a visit and we saw the Mount Mark Center. We came in and looked around and I got this lump in my throat. I'm like, this is where we need to be. The Mountain Arts Center in the beginning was for arts only. What we have realized is it certainly plays a big part in the economic development of Eastern Kentucky. It's working together with the Jenny Wiley Theater, the Stonecrest Golf Course, the Country Music Highway Museum in Paintsville. All these elements are part of a big puzzle that we're, we're all working together to to not only improve tourism, but improve the quality of lives for all of us here. We've got an area now that you can come and spend a week and have different things to do, and we're, you know, we're just really proud of that. We try to support other arts as well. We have an art gallery. Uh, we try to feature a local artist in here uh, once a month. We have regular displays. We have quilt making displays. We have a, a coal exhibit. We have a, a rare instrument collection on exhibit. We have business meetings. We have weddings, receptions. It's just become a focal point for the entire community. It's also special for me because uh, I get to perform on stage with my son, Corey. It's a unique opportunity for those young people to learn more than just being an entertainer. It's learning how to be professional especially with our Kentucky Opera Junior Prize. Learning from other musicians, being a part of seeing other people on stage, seeing how professionals do it. Maintaining our cultural heritage here in Eastern Kentucky is important to us. When visitors come and see us, they see us in this positive light, all of a sudden businesses follow. Tourism picks up. Uh, the local community gets involved. You know, one of the best singers in the world may not be able to make it just because the community is not trying to promote the arts and education. But here in Prestonsburg, we've seen the talent and, and we've wanted to promote that talent. USA, that's right.